El indio. Que ya me el indio. ¿Qué pasa? I was looking for you, Pepe. To come with me to see the uncrating of the bulls from La Punta. I will see them soon enough. Mm, they look así, así, except the horns are a little wide, but you take that into account. <laughs> Perdóneme. When I speak of the bulls, I think of nothing else. Uh, my father, Jose Contreras, my North American friend, Senor y Senora Harper. Mucho gusto. You're really his father. You it's hard to believe. Old enough. I have 35 years. Fighting the black bulls and the black-eyed senoritas keeps me young. I know his mother when I'm a novillero of 17. Some of us are men at 17, eh, Pepe? Yeah. Mi bonito. But the manly way to do a work of art is with a sword, not a pencil. Understand? Ours is the noblest of the arts. It has everything that is beautiful and dangerous and tragic. The painter only makes pictures of the things that men do. A painter can be a man, too. Senora, excuse. I do not wish to be rude, but this is between the son of El Indio and El Indio himself. Is this not so, Pepe? Is this not so, Pepe? Si, si, why do you ask the question when you Don't you're... raise your voice to your father. Save your valor for the bulls. Hey, Indio! Mi famoso amigo, que pasa? We are five ahead of you already. Con permiso, it is time to join my friends. The courage should be in the blood, not in a glass. Indio! <laughs> Another drink, Pepe? No, I must go. Uh, I'd like to take your picture before we leave for home. Oh, no, Sarah. She's a camera fiend. At your service, Signora. But if you want a picture of this old mask, you'd better do it very soon. Why, are you going someplace, Pepe? You may not be seeing me after tomorrow. Where are you planning to go? I do not know yet. I'll be back to my father's ranch to... to go on practicing? That would seem to be my fate. Goodbye, Signora. But you'll not meet again. Thank you for listening with such kind eyes. Well, uh, we'll be at the hotel for a few more days in case you're still around. Thank you very much. If not, enjoy your stay in Mexico. And a long and happy life in Evanston. Gracias. Adios. Good luck tomorrow, Pepito. More tequila, my friends? Uh, what was it you said to him about tomorrow? Tomorrow, Pepe is on the program with Torres and Ramirez. Oh, this Ramirez is going places. Tomorrow? Well, why don't we go, Sarah? We ought to take in one bullfight before we leave Mexico. Oh, I can get you two good seats on the shady side close to the Barrera for a very small extra charge. Oh. I'd rather not see it. Well. After all, sir, it's, it's part of Mexico, <laughs> part of the culture. He's going to die. Now, oh, look, honey. The nine out of ten bullfighters come through okay. It's the bull that does most of the dying. I could see it in his eyes. Look, it's even there on the napkin. Now, now calm down, Sarah. It's, it's just this atmosphere that's getting you, all this talk about death. Why, around here, death is everybody's cousin. I've got to talk to him. Honey, honey, now look. Get a hold of yourself. Please let me go, Fred. Now, what can you do? It's really none of our... Chucho. Get me a seat for the fights tomorrow. Only one? Yes, Mrs. Harper will not be going. I understand. Pepe! You wish to speak to me, Senora? Why can't you stop? You don't want to be a torador. Tell torador, that's a silly word from the musical stage. Well, matador, what difference does the word make? I am a novillero, a novice. Well, well, why can't you stop? At home, 
People are always switching jobs. Now, take Fred. He started out to be a lawyer. His father wanted him to be a lawyer, but he quit right in the middle of law school. Now he's building things, doing what he wants to do. But you see, in your country... Levy, you've got to listen to me. You must. I don't understand. You worry about someone who is almost a stranger to you. How well do you have to know someone not to want him to die? The one difference between you and us is that you are over-concerned with whether you live or you die. The old man, he always has his hand on our shoulders. Does it matter so much whether he takes us today or tomorrow or a year from tomorrow? You could go anywhere. You could study, be a, a, a painter. You could do whatever you wanted to do. My father, he always warned me about American girls. I only wish I could have known them better. Adios, Senora Sara.